Hello, very good morning, my dear students. Hope so. You all are fine and enjoying these digital classes nowadays, dear students. As last week on Saturday in our doubt clearing class, we have finished our unit two, and I have tried my best to clear all the concept in in the proper way. So hope so. You understood all the concept. So before going to start this new unit, let me share my gratitude toward you. I would like to thanks from my bottom bottom of my heart. for your kind cooperation and support to make these digital classes successful so dear students welcome to digital classes this is unit 3 we are going to start today classification of elements and periodicity in properties today's topic is introduction of unit 3 with the help of mind map so as the name of chapter is there classification of elements and periodicity in properties dear students let me remind you the chapter 5 we have done in class 10th so if you remember chapter 3 chapter 5 in class 10th is about periodic table where we studied about the history of periodic table the contribution of dobernier contribution of newlands contribution of mendeleev's and then contribution of mosley and bohor to build the modern periodic table this chapter as a perspective of chemistry it is the backbone of chemistry this chapter is very very important according to the chemistry point of view if you want to become a successful chemistry student you need to understand each and every concept of this unit so it is my humble request from you kindly pay attention with the full conscious watch this video try to understand whatever i am telling listen everything carefully if once you are not understanding the video watch is two time three time four time as video is already with you okay so you can call me anytime feel free to ask your doubt definitely i will come online also and i am sharing some of the pdf material some of the uh, soft copy of uh, chapter 3 just for reading purpose as nowadays you don't have your books also so dear students after watching the video please make your self made notes also because those no these notes will help you in future also okay so uh, let's start This is the chapter classification of element and periodicity in property. Let's understand first the meaning of the chapter. So classification, this is the English word. Classification, it is to arrange in a systematic group. Arrange anything in a systematic group to make the study easy. As you can go, you can see a shopkeeper. In a shopkeeper there are variety of things. You can see the the uh, the you can see the each corner of the shop. All the biscuits kept in one place. all the chips kept on one place all the uh, juices come one place one all the other material is placed in one place reason why it is not mixed reason it will make the work of shopkeeper easy if you are going to buy something if you suppose going to buy a biscuit so the shopkeeper has to direct go to the corner where biscuit has kept it will make the work of shopkeeper easy similar way there are more than 100 elements at present which is uh, which has been discovered so we need to arrange those element in a systematic way in groups to make our study easy it is making the studies easy and what the periodicity in properties it is about the periods and groups periods are always in a uh, row and groups are in column so the rows and column is given giving a shape of table and it is very easy to study when we are we have the table we need to see in front of what is there and what is below Uh, which okay so it is giving us the common properties also so the properties there are chemical as well as physical properties so on the basis of chemical and physical properties we are going to classify the elements okay so let's start the recapitulation uh, the summary of this chapter i am i'm going to uh, tell you to make this chapter uh, concept understanding just talk about the the flow chart of this chapter so the chapter is divided into basic three part first part is about history of classification of elements second part is about modern periodic table third part is about the periodicity in properties so history of classification of element the so first two days we will do the history of classification of element then after that we will start modern periodic table which is very very important then periodicity in properties that specially we need to study in plus 1 class up to this you have studied in 10th also so after this we are doing in plus 1 this thing okay so let's start the history of classification of element what is history it is from when the classification of elements going to be has started okay so uh, the first question before going to classify it is very genuine why do we need to classify the elements 
we will try to find out the answer why we need to classify the elements why we are classifying the students according to group why we are classing uh, classify the classes in a uh, school so there are certain reasons so those reason we will discuss second history of periodic classification as you know very well at first the dovania tribes where john dovania's contribution is there he has given the classification on the basis of tribe tribe mean three then there were some limitations so to overcome that limitations the next scientist that is newlands newlands has given law of octave now the word octave eighth so these number 3 8 have some common relationship that we will discuss in detail when we are going to do this third is mendeleev periodic table mendeleev dmitri mendeleev he was the most famous scientist known as even the father of modern periodic table because his contribution is a remarkable contribution to give a periodic table in modern periodic table okay so especially we will discuss about the characteristics of all the three advantages of all the three merit and demerit of all the three classifications okay so once we will finish this then obviously the drawbacks of dimitri uh, mendeleev's will be sorted in modern periodic table so this is one special concept where we need to discuss about the groups and periods there are 18 groups seven periods in groups groups made up of s p d f that we studied in previous chapter orbitals and periods made by k l m n bohr's energy shell that we studied in second chapter okay so you need to correlate this chapter with the second chapter again so here we will discuss about the general characteristics of modern periodic table what are the basic characteristics advantages and disadvantages of modern periodic table metal classification of metal non metal and metalloid very beautifully the metal non metal and metalloid has classified under modern periodic table so everything will be clear this also you have studied in 10th class in chapter 3 so these all things will be clear very beautifully in modern periodic table that student who will become the master of modern periodic table i wish i am i am very much sure that student will not face any problem in future okay so then the last is electronic configuration which was the last topic of unit 2 also it was the drawback of some of the students in unit 2 so don't worry these things we will discuss in this unit also okay and the last is periodicity in property now think practically when you know when you already know about the histories from where the classification started now where we reach this is the modern time right now we are studying periodic table about that is modern periodic table once we know the modern periodic table then what is the comparison we need to compare each groups each periods along the group along the period that comparison that relation in the properties is known as periodicity in properties periodicity word mean in a periods in a specific distance specific specific uh, uh, gap what is the common properties trends in physical properties basically trends mean on the basis of these physical property we are going to relate atomic radii it is the atomic radii radii is mathematic word that is the uh, distance from center to outermost sphere so you know radius of uh, any atom it is like this way so from this nucleus to outermost sphere that is atomic radii if the atom is uh, losing any electron or gaining any electron then it is becoming ion so ionic radii these are same ionization enthalpy it is the amount of energy required to make ya lose the outermost electron from the shell outermost shell that is called ionization enthalpy electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy energy required to gain any electron electro negativity to make the uh, atom negative by losing one electron valency amount of ya number of electrons required to make a octet oxidation state it is the number ya yeah, you can say that it is the state or value Well, according to that the electrons are going to be moved from one place to another diagonal diagonal relationship there are some uh, electron element basically all the elements in a group in a common group are having same property okay but sometime what is happening the diagonally also diagonally you know from this side to this side diagonal also there are some relationship those specific relation we, didn't, we need to discuss anomalous properties some of the different properties from the group some element have different property than the group that is called anomalous properties of second periods we will discuss and the last periodic trend in chemical reactivity some of the chemical reactivity also so basically dear students uh, the questions are coming from this chapter is reasoning type questions comparison type question or the history of classification limitations and uh, uh, achievements so all these things we will discuss now one by one so from tomorrow formally we are going to start this unit so till today once again try to make the mind map of this chapter and try to classify the classification uh, try to classify the chapter according to the 
classification okay so hope so you like this video thanks for watching this video and once again i want to appeal you please stay home stay safe keep enjoying digital classes even there are some advantages of digital classes you can watch our video more and more and more time as much as time you will watch the concept will become more clear okay so thank you have a nice day